Well, I'm going to go back two weeks, actually. Um, I think the last couple of scrimmages, Temple and then the exhibition game with West Virginia, we learned a lot about ourselves. Uh, some very good things, and then some things we definitely got to work on. Um, but you're playing two teams that are very tough and very physical. I'm sure most of you remember the NIT game, low-scoring affair. This time was a little bit more scoring. Um, and, and that game really helped us and prepared us to be able to go against West Virginia and their press and their physicality and their toughness. And uh, I think we, we grew from that. Our, our freshmen grew from that. Our veterans got better from that. And the leadership was outstanding, especially when both teams made runs. You're able to make a play here and there to stop the run and swing the momentum back our way. So just a fabulous two weeks for our program, for our team. We have a lot of room for growth to get better. And uh, that's what excites me about this, this team. Can you talk specifically about how those games helped your freshmen? Uh, because now they're going into the season already having played, you know, obviously in one very tough environment. Yeah, so like, let, let's pick Miles Dredd. Miles didn't play as well versus Temple. But he shot the ball very well and played better against West Virginia. Uh, I would say the same thing for Ra. Ra was pretty solid against Temple, but probably played a better floor game uh, against West Virginia. I think he had more turnovers versus Temple because he had zero against West Virginia. And I think MJ is going to be that that um, Jamal Crawford for us, where his job is to come in and score the basketball. So know that he can score. His nickname is Buckets for a reason. And I think the same thing with him. I think Temple, he was a little bit hesitant, a little bit, wow, speed of the game. And then I, even though he, he only shot one for whatever, I still felt he was more composed and the game slowed down for him a little bit. So really two great styles of basketball to play heading into Friday night. Obviously, you were, guys were able to put the game together for a good cause, but not so often you see two teams like that uh, in an exhibition game. Uh, how did you like that? Is that something you would like to see in the future, playing quality teams like that in an exhibition game? Yeah, I told Coach Huggins, let's do it again. Uh, I said, if we could do it again, let's hope there's not a reason to do yeah. it again, right? Because we did it for a charity. We did it for the Hurricane. Um, and there was a lot of goodwill behind this charity uh, a basketball game. But let's hope there's not. But if we can do it again, we'd love to do it again. We'd love to play each other again. Um, but man, it was fantastic to kind of really gauge where you might be in early November. And really, the, the, there's a very high ceiling for this team, really high ceiling of how good this team could potentially be. I want to paraphrase, I guess, kind of what you said before the season, but uh, I think it was something to the effect of trying to alleviate pressure on the freshmen. Um, do, do you feel like you guys have done that so far? And what are kind of the steps that you need to take to make sure that they're able to uh, feel comfortable and shoot freely and have yeah. the confidence that they need? I, I still stand by that statement. And I would say because Rob, double digits uh, against Temple, double digits against West Virginia. Uh, Miles obviously played extremely well against West Virginia, shot the ball very well anyway. Uh, against West Virginia, and I think you see MJ coming on the floor and really just playing carefree. Um, you know, yeah, we got to work with him on some shot selection, but right now I want him to have that green light where he feels very confident and comfortable. But they don't feel the pressure. They they know there's Lamar Stevens. They know there's Josh Reeves. I mean, Josh Reeves opens up West Virginia with a three. Josh Reeves had 16 against Temple and, and did everything else. And then of course Josh Reeves, and then only Josh Reeves' way he has the tip in. Uh, which is what he does. And, and then, you know, when you get Mike back, and I'll address that in a little bit, um, you know, that, all that pressure is, there's no pressure like Tony and, and Lamar. There's no, you, you know what I mean? They don't have to feel the, the weight of the world on them. They, they have to produce every single game. Um, and, and that's the luxury we have with, with such great leaders in, in Josh and in Lamar and, and John. Speaking of Mike. Why are you looking at me when you say that? I'm just looking around because I <laughs> keep my, so I'm eyes, my, my eyes open. I'm, I'm kidding. Um, we're going to let Mike get reacclimated. That's what we're doing right now. He is traveling with us. He's in practice with us. He's playing really well with us. His academics are better. His doctors say he's doing well you know, with them. We just need him to get reacclimated. Number one most important thing is Mike. So let's get him whole. Let's get him healthy. Next thing is his academics. Let's make sure he's on, on course to get his degree. 
Once we take care of one and two, then we can start talking about when he may return. But right now, he's got to focus on off the court, focus on himself, number one. And he's doing that. He's doing that. So there's real no, really no timetable to speak of right now. And I know you're going to ask me every week. So every week, I'm going to tell you right off the bat where, where it is, where he is, where we feel like maybe there's a chance this game or that game. But we'll be very transparent about that, or I will be. Can you share where he is academically? He, he's doing better. I mean, in he, terms of uh, progression toward degrees. Is he, he would probably have to get his degree, degree in the summer. Okay. Yeah. I mean, he, he's going through a lot. Yeah. But still, you know, because of what he was going through, you know, his grades, we need to get them up a little bit. And he's doing a good job with that. Can you discuss how he's and doing? he was great on the bench. If you watched the game, he was terrific. I know you guys were at Michigan, but if you how, saw it, he was terrific. So? Just positive, upbeat. You know, that's a tough situation for him because he wants to play. He definitely wants to play against Kanate who played 26 minutes. I mean, that's a lot of minutes for a guy who's been hurt. Um, but it's good. Just as a point of clarity, is he eligible or is it a preference in terms of his grades right now? No, no, he, we're, he's got to get reacclimated. We got to get him whole um, before we put uh, the pressure of playing in a game on him. John was a upper body injury, I think. Of the media day, where's lower he? body, lower body, lower body. Yeah, Where, where's he at now? He, he's 100% healthy. He's doing great. And how much pressure is there on him at this point, just given Mike and Satchel's situations? Yeah, I, I don't think he he's you know he works so hard. He outworks that stuff. You know, if you prepare, you don't feel stress. If you feel prepared and ready to go, you don't feel that worry and stress. And I don't think he feels it. Look, he only played 18 minutes because he was in foul trouble, but he got us eight and six. I think you guys would all agree if we get eight points out of him a game and probably more than six rebounds, I think we're all going to be really happy. And they love playing with him. The ball does not stick to this kid. He's a great passer. He gets in uh, triple handoffs. And he, he had a bunch of, he had to get five offensive rebounds, converted into some, some good positive plays. Is there is there maybe a max expectation that you can have, though, in terms of minutes that he can play? And what... How do, you, how do you reshuffle things with him not on the floor? For the, yeah, so I, I like him right around 20, okay. you know, 22 at most. Uh, I like Trent. I think Trent gave us some good minutes, knocked down three for us. Trent's a very good shooter. Unfortunately, he didn't make others, but he still did what he did his job, made one. Um, he got four rebounds, two offensive, and he battled. He's not, you know, he's not soft. He battled Kanate. He battled their other bigs. Uh, I thought he showed us a lot. And, they, and he's really like a freshman still, right? Because he didn't play a ton of minutes last year. So I think, you know, if I continue to look at him like that, he's going to continue to grow and learn. And he secured that back up five right now. And then we play Lamar at the five, which is really a difficult lineup for teams to, to defend because we have so many weapons out there. 